Hey, and welcome to a new Let's Play. It's going to be a short one, I think, um, of Let's uh, Let's Play Gone. No, no, everybody's gone to Rapture. Sorry, <laughs> I don't even know what I play. Before I started streaming, I kind of went AFK for a while, so I was doing other things and got distracted. But yes, everybody's gone to the Rapture. I've heard really good things um, about this game. It's a story-driven game. Um, I remember watching... This was years ago. I had it, um, and my... I, remember, I think it was my brother was playing it when he came over many many years ago and um i was like not interested in it because there was not much gameplay or something i don't know but anyway i heard really good things about it um i don't really know much about the game if anything um i just remember the graphics were pretty and yeah <laughs> that's all so voiceover english subtitles i like subtitles um so let's go The emergency may occur with little or no warning. What emergency? Being prepared to meet an emergency may be key to survival. Make sure you have the safest environment in the case of emergency make the difference between life and death. Uh, I guess. Not that I have any idea what's going on, but... So I know it's a story-driven like game. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. The Chinese room. Music's nice. Okay. Oh yes, I remember the graphics being rather pretty, but don't remember anything else. Um, so, am I playing as Catherine? Zero. Right, I can go in there, there's a bike. Can I sprint? No. There's a propane tank. There's also a thing ringing, like a phone? <gasps> well, it's, I don't know where to go. <gasps> Choices. I don't know. Valis Observatory or Bayless, I don't know. I guess we'll go here first because it's a closed area. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. Is this like a horror thing? <laughs> okay, so the answer is in the light, so there's this constellation chart thing. Oh, gosh, that's... Oh, hello. One, six. One, four. One, six, one, four. Oh god, I can't remember this. I don't know if it's... This is actually kind of creepy. Is it linked to this? I can't interact with anything. 
So, who am I playing as? This is the thing. So, I, I can't be playing as Kate, because I think that's Kate's voice there, so she's broadcasting from wherever she is. Um, I'm playing as someone... Am I playing as... Oh, controller's vibrating. It's changing colour. That's creepy. I'm actually quite creeped out. Ooh, beautiful. I can't sprint. Oh, that's annoying. I'm, I'm, I'm pressing all buttons to see if... Nope, can't do anything. Maybe because we're still, like, maybe in a tutorial area of some sort? This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. Did that creep me out? So there's a, it says follow the light. That's what the broadcast said. Can't jump over. Okay. Right, I'm following the light. I see you. Chill. Okay. This is creepy. Oh, I reckon. Uh, I'm tilting the controller, but nothing's happening. Oh, I'm con the light itself. I'm interacting with the light. Gosh. Oh. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Wow. Now piss off. Ah, so. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. That's Kate. Kate, can we just talk about this? No, Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading Ooh. up to Tower 6. Kate. This guy. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. I'm confused. Um... Uh... Okay. more lights. So, do these lights sort of... I don't know, they, did it tell you an event? Like, something that happened in the past? Jeremy. Wait, is this in the UK? Well, it is, because you've got the traditional phone box there. Oh, this is so pretty. I know I have to go that... Oh, hello. I don't know where to go. And the fact that I can't sprint isn't helping, but I'll just follow the light. This does look like a traditional sort of countryside 
uh, English countryside. Oh, phone. Yelton. Please drive carefully. Cool. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the front! Get off the front! It's from the front! Oh, God. Whoa. In the phones? Is... What's going on? <gasps> is it like that movie? What's it called? Um, oh, there was this movie. I can't remember the name of it. Um, where certain words were banned. Like there was... The English language was banned or something. Oh, what was it called? I want to go all the way to the other end, but the fact that I can't sprint, I can't be bothered. So... Oh, what's that movie called? It's. I don't know. I can't remember. I will remember at some point. It's a really good movie. Um, basically, it, if you, the English, there's a virus that spreads through the phones or just through speech, and um, it makes you go insane. It's a really good movie. I can't remember what the oh, what the name was. I can't remember. And if you hear sort of thumping, I do apologise. It's the neighbours upstairs with a hyperactive kid, which is really annoying. Um, it do it will end after a while. Eventually, I think he or she, I don't know. Um, they get tired. So, you would hope so. Anyway, so we found out that there's something to do with spreading in a phone line. Um, oh, the name of the movie... Right, I'm going to have to Google it, I'm sorry, because that name of the movie is really bugging me now. Um, I'm Googling um, voice virus movie. Or mo movie. Voice virus movie. Osmosis virus. No. Language. Language, virus movie, Pontypool, that's it, Pontypool, sorry, I just had to do it because it was really, really bugging me, um, Pontypool is the name of the movie, so um, check it out, really, really good movie, anyway, okay, so we found something that travels through the phone lines, and we've got the phone masks right here, so um, we're starting to get an idea Oh yeah, this is definitely traditional English countryside. Um, I mean, this looks really nice. I mean, it's quite an old game. I don't know when it came out, but it's definitely years ago. Okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures. Tighten up the data and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together. You and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers, even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> he sounds a bit like a dick. <laughs> hmm.
So clearly this is an event of the past. Um, can't track or anything. Oh, no, I can. Ooh. I'm really curious to know what's going on. Ooh. Music. Oh, it's very sad music. Very lovely. I don't know where to go. Ooh. So something that travels through phone lines. And I don't know what these numbers are. Oh, hello. I can't do anything here. They're very creepy. It's a very horror movie type thing. Reminds me of PT. I don't think this is horror though. <laughs> More like mystery. for the first time that same rush of excitement <laughs> my hands are shaking okay so it seems like they've discovered something um and it to do with constellation the stars because Stephen was mentioning something about an event um an important event so i wonder if that's linked i don't know So what happened to everybody? I guess they went to the rapture. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Um, very relaxing game. I mean, as long as there's no jump scares and it stays like this, then yes, it's very relaxing. Ooh, it looks like a traditional country pub. I do love traditional country. I haven't been one in years, actually. Um, but I must go. Oh, hello. Pretty. Hello? Hello? Oh. Hello. Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We, we tried. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through and and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches and then they started bleeding and it was horrible they were so scared so Neil turned the car around and um we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have but we just came in to clean up the kids and and then Neil and I started bleeding as well oh it's all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed. And you know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind as there were any children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. <gasps> he never came back down. Oh my god. He's been too frightened to come and look. Why don't we go and look together? Why would you go upstairs? If you like. Yeah. yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Will you please help me? Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there? I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, God. This is really creepy. Not creepy. I, that's not the right word. Just... I don't know. Tense, I guess. So this is where the kids were. So... 
there was blood. I'm confused. So, but why wouldn't you check, like, after six hours? I mean, surely you check after maybe, I don't know, half an hour, one hour, two hours, six? I don't seem to interact with anything, though. What happened? Hmm. No, I can't interact with anything. Oh, I want to know what happened. I want to know Amanda's reaction and stuff, but I guess we won't. Nope, I guess... Uh, I guess that's it for this house. Oh, I want to live here. I mean, with more people, but... This seems like such a perfect little village. So actually, it's not that small of a village. Oh, there's a light there, but I want to go to the pub. Yay, we can go to the pub. Closed until further notice, we've got the flu. Please try the seventh whistler. We're back in business as soon as we're up and about. George and Helen Gables. Great, as if COVID wasn't enough. It just, it seems like everything was left undisturbed. I mean, look, even the cigarettes, was, this is recent. This is very recent because you've still got the smoke from the cigarettes. Oh, good old fish and chips. Ale of the day, 50p. <laughs> God, that those prices have long gone. Oh, there's a... No, oh, I can't go through. Um, but I am hearing a... I wish you could be able to sprint or just walk faster. This is... Yeah. Th this is the only downside. Is it's actually putting me off... So far I'm liking the game and I'm liking sort of the mystery of the story. But I just wish you could sprint because... It's stopping me from actually wanting to go to places. So... I mean, this is beautiful though. I mean... I, you know, this is quite an old PS4 game. Looks absolutely fantastic. Um, oh, I love the thatched roofs. You know, they uh, see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. Oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next? Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father Wheeler. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. They just stay out of my way. But... I'm confused. Why would... What is wrong with her? I don't know. I mean, I know that sometimes, you know, traditional village folk can get a bit wary of outsiders, but this is... This doesn't seem like a... I don't know. Um, sort of village where people would really... I don't know. Uh, Keep looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed, like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. 
Okay, so it seems to be that it's definitely something to do with um, the stars and constellation and stuff. Um, one sec, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Apologies for that. Yes, it seems very much to do with they discovered something in the stars. Uh, but then there's also the thing about it travels through um, travels through phone lines, and then it people bleeding. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to put everything together. But this. Whatever happened in this town seems to have happened relatively recently because, you know, the cigarettes were still smoking, the cigarette butts and all that, so... Um, anyway, let's go through here. Oh, this is so pretty, I want to live here. This is like, if I won the lottery, this is the sort of village I'd buy a little house. Um, it's just, I don't want to live in this one, just because I love the entrance and the flowers and... Oh. Quarantine. Do not attempt to leave. You'll be detained. Do not attempt to teleport outside your local area. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, it's trying to guide me to where I need to go. Let's just follow it. Oh, I could just, I could just sit here. And just watch that water, which is actually very pretty. Ooh. You know what would be really great is playing this game in VR. Like, this is the sort of game you really can get so much out of in VR. Uh, I mean, not how it is now, but just the type of game, you know, with music and the ambience and the atmosphere and all that. It's, uh,. Definitely something. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? I saw you, I saw you doing that. Go away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? A it's virus? traveling down the wires. Yeah, go on. You've lost your oh. mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? Is breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. It's give me mine. Give me the Let's can. I need it. Grow up. Fuck. Oh god, no. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back. Oh Christ. Oh. Oh, that's the can. Why would these buy shop clothes? Sorry. Oh, I'm on an ice cream maker. But I don't have space to store the ice cream. I've got a very small chest freezer. When I move flat, that's one of the things I'm going to start making uh, is ice cream. Or gelato. Sorry, just neighbours upstairs being noisy again. I really want to move. <laughs> it's just, they're nice people. I've met them. It's just the kid is so fucking spoiled and just really annoying. They do stop after a while, but it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. And because this is an old type, um... Hold on one sec. Because this is an old type of house, you hear it a lot more. Uh... But... Ah, oh, dear lord. So it seems like it's a virus. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think. It's a virus that travels through the phone line, but how does that work? So it's clearly not biological. Okay, that much we can... I mean, I'm not... Hello. Is everything right? 
get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Hmm, so it's not biological. Because this wouldn't make sense. It has to be something obviously either supernatural, um... Well, physical, I guess, but not biological. It can't be like a natural, traditional virus or a bacteria. It just doesn't make sense if it travels through phone lines. Um, so, narrow road. Uh, let's go in here. Number 11. Can we go through here? No. I guess the light is guiding us, but I do want to explore, assuming I can. Mm. Oh, I don't think you can interact with this house. I mean, I'll try this door, but I need to come and interact with everything. Yep. I thought so. Interesting. Very interesting little game. Um, right. I don't, think, I don't think I'll climb over there to go back here. Yes, light, I know, I know. Oh, it's going that way now. Wait, which way? Why? It was going there a second ago, and now it's gone up here. Make up your mind. Alright, let's go that way. I still wish we knew who we were playing as. I mean, it, it gives you the impression that we're playing as us, as the you know the player, I guess, if that makes sense. Hello. Oh, I can't. Oh. Right. No, I'm going this way. Tricking me again. What is this place? Summer Fate wanted Yarton Quiz Night. Say no to Valis Extension. Emergency meeting. Everyone is welcome. Village. So Valis is that. I remember seeing the observatory. So is it like a sign. Uh, well, it's like a research facility, I guess. Or could just be a regular observatory. So this is like the town hall, it seems like. What about the station? That's shut down too. So there's no way in or out of the valley. They're obviously serious about this flu thing. Phil doesn't think it's flu at all. He said he's been practicing medicine for 30 years and he's seen plenty of flu and he said this doesn't feel right at all. Well, there's nothing of any use on the radio. Sorry I'm late, everyone. Have you started? Yes, but to be honest, there's not really that much to discuss. This quarantine is in place. There's roadblocks and everything. No one really seems to know anything, but people are definitely missing. More of them too, not just a couple of old biddies. No one's seen Sullivan since yesterday, and the house is just sitting there unlocked. I just got back from the farm. All of Frank's cows died in the night. He's devastated. Poor man. Hasn't he had enough for one year? First Mary and now this. Well, if no one's coming in to sort this mess out, we're just gonna have to do it ourselves. Barbara, get Phil to do a stock take on medication. Jeremy, put the word out for people to congregate at the village hall. It's best we get everyone in one place for the time being. Good. I'll organize supplies. We'll have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. There's plenty at the depot, but well, let's start with what's here in the village. I'll draw up a rota. Charlie, you help me with that? Anything for you, Meg. I'll head out into the valley and scoop up the isolated families. 
and check in with Lizzie Graves at the camp. Has anyone seen or heard anything from Stephen Appleton or his wife? Okay, so people disappearing, virus going through phone lines, constellations. Ah. Uh. It's just trying to piece everything together. It's so confusing. Oh, hello. I don't think there's nothing out here. But when we say people disappearing, they, they, are they actually just vanishing? Allowing us into the kitchen, so there has to be something here. Oh, that's disappointing. You see, I really want a gas hob. I have a electric one. I live in rented flats, so it's I don't get a choice, but I do much, much prefer I do like cooking. I love a gas hob. It's just so much better to heat things up quicker, you can control the heat a lot quicker. Um Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Back to the game. I like a microwave too. If I'm feeling lazy or I just need to heat something up. Uh, anyway, um, so that was the town hall. Uh, that's. It seems to be sort of in, I guess, chronological order or somewhat, but at least I can piece things together. Um, somewhat. Right, so we've explored the town hall. The light wasn't lying. But I think now we have to go all the way to the other side. It's a good thing this is such a pretty village because that just left. Oh, that looks like the church to me. Uh, uh oh. Pastor's Lane. Oh, I don't know which one. Oh, I hear a. Oh. I have to go all the way around. Oh, fuck it, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can go through that gate there. But the light is telling me... Oh, I don't know what to do! Urgh. Well, I do know what to do, I just need to explore, but... Oh my god, this is such a big area to explore. Right, let's go and see that radio, because it gives us clues. Kate seems to be the only one um, who knows like what's going on. And she's able to communicate through this radio. Electrical failures all over Tower Six. The light is flowing like liquid. Oh. Its sense of purpose is overwhelming. There's something in Stephen? Stephen, is that you? So, this is the light they're talking about. The little thing that's following around, it's light that behaves like a liquid. So wait, did they contact like an intelligent life form or something? Oh, that might be it. So is this an intelligent life form they've managed to contact and it's found its way through the town or village, whatever? That's creepy. It's interesting and fascinating, but creepy at the same time. Um, oh god, I have to cross all this field. I don't know where... Light, where are you? Well, that's the town hall, I think, yes. I want to go to the church. Oops. Ah, one sec. One second. Um, so, what's that message? Do bear with me.
okay. Oh, apologies for that. I think we should go to the church. Oh, there's a truck there. Or, I don't know what it is, but get close to it. Looks like a dead end, actually. <clears throat> oh, oh, the whoosh. I guess it's interesting, like having intelligent life form as a liquid light. Um, because remember, we don't know what conscience really is yet. You know, the subconscious and what gives us humans a conscience. Um, it could actually be this light. Could this be a conscience of some sort? I can't interact with it for some reason. I'm moving my controller like the tutorial told me, but it's not working. Reach the back oh. fence, silly old bugger. Well, loaves and fishes we can manage, Father but garden Jeremy, design is a little beyond. Might I have a word? Mrs. Boyles, of course. Meg, will you excuse us, please? Uh, see you back at Charlie's later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. I mean, those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have no choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy! Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. He sees. I just pray you can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with... bring shame on this parish. If you have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the Bishop of the Diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Excuse me. Oh. So, is there something wrong with the, um... With the, uh, bishop or priest or whatever? Interesting. But how is he involved in all this? So, could this be like a godly thing? I don't know. I'm confused. Let's go up here. Whoosh, so the light is probably near here somewhere, but hmm. Saint Hubert's Church. Uh, you are welcome, Reverend Jeremy Wheeler. Oh, I can go in. I can't go in. You have to open both. Wait, those are weird flames. How peculiar. That's very weird. Don't know if it's related to what's going on or if it's just a graphical if it's just because it looks pretty and different but hmm okay can't interact with anything though it's weird what would let you go in here Must be something you can interact with, or a cutscene of some sort. No. Okay, maybe we're not meant to be here yet. Hmm. Okay, 
well, I guess we're moving on. Still a bit confused, but can we walk through this bush? No, of course not. Ah. Oh, well, wow. Oh, hello, light. Oh, no, now what? Hello. I'm tilting my controller. No. What the hell? I don't understand where it wants me to go. Right. I'm just going to follow it. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be to know where it's going. Right, okay, it's going this way now. Oh. I'm following. Oh no. Okay, good. Don't scare me like that. I think I'm getting trolled. Okay, but we need to go here anyway. We haven't been here, so. Ooh. to you. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think with what's been happening with Mr. Coles and Mrs. Boughton and the others, the people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6. Oh, verse oh, oh he got owned. It's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? Okay, so. Reverend got. Absolutely sh smashed by Wendy. Stands out that doorbell. <laughs> oh, radio. It wasn't just some distortion of physics. I may not understand it yet, but it wasn't an accident. All of the clocks, what happened at Tower 6, it's just not random. There's an effort. An attempt to communicate. Oh, I was right. So this is intelligent life form, then. Oh. Right oil. This is the right oil. Meg, come and have a look at this. I don't believe it. Charlie! Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. 
He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? It looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot, Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We'd better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Okay. I really feel like ice cream. I haven't had it in ages, especially now with the summer. I would love to get an ice cream machine, like I said earlier, but I just don't have the storage space in the freezer to actually store the ice cream. Um, and there's no point making it and eating it there and then, because just the amount of hassle and time you have to spend making it for like one portion. Just, yeah. Oh, hello. There's an event here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I get it now. I know how it works. I saw you from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Frank. There's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Oh, dear. Right. Um... I think this is probably a good time to call it here because I've got to go and the game's saving, which is great. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just don't need to save. I can just call it here. It's a very interesting game so far. Um, very intrigued by the story, um, lovely graphics, and just general atmosphere. The music stop notch. I'm absolutely loving the uh, the music. The only fault I would say of this game so far is the fact that you can't sprint or just move faster. Um, that's the only shame but other than that I'm really enjoying it for what it is um, very cool so I will see you in the next one bye bye